In today's video, we will show you how to solder the open skin shield. First of all, we will show you what is included in the product box. You get a circuit board, pin headers, one optocoupler, two MOSFETs, one resistor, plugs, capacitors, and a barrel jack plug. We start here with the male pin header with four pins. We use plasticine during the entire soldering process so that the parts to be soldered do not move and can be soldered properly. In the next step, we solder the female pin header with 2 times 20 pin, which will be the socket for the Raspberry Pi. Then we solder 4 times the female pin header with 8 pins. The stepper motor drivers will be installed there later. Now we solder the male pin header with three pins. The 100 microfarad capacitors are now soldered between the eight pin female headers that we soldered in the previous step. Make sure that the minus side of the capacitor is on the minus side of the circuit board. The minus side is marked on one side of the capacitor. The two IRLZ34 and MOSFETs are then attached. These are plugged into their intended position and then bent slightly as shown in the video. Next, we solder the JST connector, which will later be used to connect the ring light. The optocoupler PC817 is then soldered. Make sure that the optocoupler is correctly oriented. There is a small dot in one of the corners which has to point downwards. Afterwards, a 220 ohm resistor is installed below the optocoupler. Now we come to the DC-DC converter. Make sure that it is soldered horizontally and not at an angle. We have placed a small component underneath, which must be removed again afterwards. To turn the device on and off, we also need a switch, which is soldered to the back of the circuit board. To supply everything with power, we need the barrel connector. You should use a larger amount of solder for this. The last step in soldering is to solder the female pin header with two pins to the back, just like the switch. After everything has been soldered, the protruding wires on the back need to be removed. The last step is to adjust the DC-DC converter from 12 volts to 5 volts the voltage should be between 5.0 and 5.1 volts at the end. To adjust this, connect the device to the power supply. Take your multimeter to measure the voltage and connect the two cables as shown in the video. When you see the current voltage, you can adjust the voltage on the voltage converter using the screw. This step can be a bit fiddly. If you have soldered everything correctly and everything is set up correctly, you now have a working open skin shield. Congratulations!